Hi, this, uh, this video is the introduction of, of us making the Lost in Space uh, Chariot Rifle. Now this is a printed out video of the rifle as completed. And this is the Okinawa Monkey Division, um, or I'm uh, sorry, rifle. And to achieve, to take this and make it into this was kind of a long journey. And what I want to do is I'm going to show you this piece over here. This is a, um, an Okinawa gun, a rifle, and to, to get, uh, in our second video, to get to what you see, we had to buy at least three rifles, uh, the Hero rifle and two other ones, totaling around four to five hundred hours. So, uh, you'll see the finished product in a minute, so bear with me, because I want you to understand what went into making the finished product. We tried to make a one-piece mold of, of this by cutting the top off, making a one-piece mold. Was not successful. So what we ended up doing was taking it and breaking it into components. This is the first attempt to come out pretty good. You can see you have this, but this is still too big. So what we ended up doing was taking the stock, cutting it into sections. This is a one-piece stock. Well, when you fill this up, it becomes very heavy, and you have a big heavy piece of resin. So what we started to do was this is this. We augmented the handle to make it more adult size. We took off this section, added that. We then again took the butt section, but I'm going to show you this. To reduce weight, we had to go ahead and make this not one piece, but two pieces, and filled it with clay. So when you cast it up, you would have this when the two pieces are put together. In order to keep it lightweight, on the inside of this during the casting process, let me show you we would put cut pieces of foam in here and inside of here to make it lighter. Can't do anything with this. So in order to get the, the finished product, we did all that, you take it together, you put your stock piece back here. This is a hollow power pack. When it's complete, all the electronics and the battery compartment will be in here. And that will go into here. Add to that, we custom made the heat sink or emitter. That fits on to this. And onto this, we have a piece of clear uh, acrylic tubing. All right. So you end up with, put this all aside for a minute. Oh, and just one note, it, it, it's ironic that um, you have this power pack. You have this power pack, which is from the pistol. I don't understand why they didn't just keep it like that. It's just a little footnote. Okay, let me push this all back. So when all of this is put together, and i got to tell you, it takes, um, it takes a lot of time to put this stuff together. There, there's no joke about it. I mean, each part has to be seamed up. The power pack has to be put together, and right now we're using magnets to keep it together. And, um, okay, well, here's the other part we'll go to. And here is the finished product. When all these pieces are put together, now keep in mind, each piece is separate. Each piece is separate, you can see. Each piece is separate. When you combine all these, you get this and um, that's the end of this video we can go on to the other video